sea lion over here coming out. Santa Cruz. We have started off our morning by having yet another delicious breakfast laid on by our accommodation. It was awesome because we had a chat with the hosts and we mentioned that we liked Pataconas based on our travels through Costa Rica. And so they said, oh, that's cool, we'll make you some the next morning. And so they did and they were great. And so we thoroughly enjoyed that. And we've just taken a 20 minute walk into the town center where we've just been treated to an absolute menagerie of animals and it's been basically like a little safari. Not only did we see a bunch of pelicans and iguanas but we also saw a sleeping sea lion who turned out to be a mum and her pup then came to be nursed by the mum and they had a little bit of a squabble between them and it was just awesome to see a solid 10 minutes worth of entertainment. Today the plan is to go to Las Grietas and you have to do this on a tour. Now there are a ton of tour operators scattered around Puerto Eora, the main town, and you just kind of have to go into them and see what packages they offer because some are larger packages that include more than just Las Grietas and other ones exclusively only offer that one and that's what we were looking for. I had read online that it should cost about 10 US dollars per person and here at Get Galapagos that's exactly what they offered so this is who we booked through. So in order to get to the tour then we actually had to get a water taxi just across this little channel to get to Playa Los Alemanes. And then once we're there, we'll meet up with our guide and then they will take us through to Las Grietas. a very quick water taxi ride. It took maybe all of two minutes, but we only paid one US dollar per person. So it was very affordable. And now we're walking to meet our guide to go to Las Grietas. Thank you. 
15 minute walk later and we are now at the meeting point for our tour. Since this happens to be a bar and we are quite early, then I think we're gonna grab a drink and then we'll join our tour. just spent about the last 20 minutes hiking through more of the arid zone with our guide and we've finally arrived to Las Grietas, the highlight of this tour and we're gonna hop in the water and go snorkeling. Okay, babe, honest review. It was fine. Um, nice opportunity to just take a nice cool dip, get out of the heat for a little bit. But in terms of what you saw, there wasn't a lot. There were a few like decent sized fish and there were some small ones, which looked nice. But honestly, that was kind of about your lot. It definitely wasn't like an abundant reef or anything like that that we've experienced on previous snorkeling trips. So, the fact that it's $10 makes it not feel like a massive waste or anything like that. At the end of the day, it's still cool to be in this part of the island, but not sure it was really worth doing the snorkel. Let's put it that way. Yeah, the fact that it was $10 means that it doesn't sting as much, but we've just been spoiled with the abundance of coral and fish that we've been able to see while snorkeling elsewhere in the world. And the like three or four fish that we saw here just paled in comparison. All the same, we got a nice little walk and as you said, a refreshing dip, so. Yeah, and also, I mean, at the end of the day, this is a natural area unlike most we've ever seen. So, you know, an opportunity to explore a bit of that while being guided through and talk through a bit of the nature is, is nice all the time. But it's about time to head back now. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning! Unfortunately, we are checking out of our accommodation today. However, we want to give them a big shout out. We've been staying here at Apartamientos Mi Oficina, or Apartment Mi Oficina, here on Santa Cruz, and the hosts have just been absolutely lovely, preparing us delicious breakfasts, and they've just been so helpful and friendly. They really thanked us so much when we said goodbye to them this morning. The air conditioning is so strong here. The beds are comfortable. The rooms are huge. So if you come to Santa Cruz, we highly recommend that you stay here. Definitely agreed. Super happy to have been here. And this is a great launch pad for anything that you want to do in Santa Cruz. But we do have to say goodbye to this island for now because we are going to be moving on to the next island on our itinerary of Isabella. There is a ferry that we're going to be taking at about 3 p.m. But between now and then, we have a few hours to kill. So we are going to head to a couple of cafes and eateries to pass some time before we get the boat.
just came out of the bakery where we enjoyed two dollar coffees and we were looking for a place for lunch and it turns out this place does a menu del dia for lunch which includes a soup, a main course and unlimited juice for five dollars per person. So with that we're going to try a bunch of seafoody type options with a seafood soup, a mixed ceviche and apparently the juice that they're doing is passion fruit juice. So we're going to enjoy the heck out of all that. But if you don't like seafood, don't worry because they also had chicken and vegetarian options. So there's something here for everyone. Absolutely. Lunch was absolutely divine. Clearly the way to go to eat cheaply around here is they're making sure at lunchtime you get what is on the menu as an anwesa. Honestly, now that we know that, I think we're going to try and make a habit of it. Yeah, it's definitely amazing value for money and it's a great way to eat locally as well. So definitely a big win to find that out. But we are now back at Get Galapagos, which is the tour operator we booked our tour through yesterday. And we were able to book our ferry from here on Santa Cruz to Isabella Island with them. Now you can actually use any tour operator here to book your ferry because it is 30 US dollars per person, no matter where you book. There's no negotiating, no price differences. That is just the cost of it. And typically the ferries run twice daily. I think there's one at 7 a.m. but obviously we've chosen to go for the one at 3 p.m. and I think it takes about two hours but I guess we shall see. exactly two hour ferry ride we are now in Isabella we ended up having to pay a tax of 10 US dollars per person in order to get in and then we got picked up on the side of the road for an extra dollar to then get taken to our accommodation but that's pretty much all we got planned for today tomorrow we have something very exciting to start our time off in Isabella so we will catch up with you then until next time though Take care. And keep smiling. We've been staying here at Apartamentos. Apartamentos. Apartamentos mi oficina. Apartamentos. Apartamentos preparing us delicious breakfast. They've been. Sorry. I think I was looking at you. Lunch was absolutely 